What's going on guys, Real Touch Gmail here back with another game maker tutorial and today I'm actually starting up a series and this series is going to be how to create your own Minecraft 2D looking game. Uh, now right off the bat I'd like to say that this is going to be an advanced uh, little series tutorial here. So this is not, we're all going to be using all code, I'm just letting you guys know straight up uh, off the bat here, this is going to be all code and uh, we're going to be using some advanced stuff. Uh, within this game like our own rendering system disabling objects when they're not in view stuff like that uh, but even if you are a noob and you kinda wanna just you know tag along then go for it uh, if you have any questions go ahead and leave it down in the comments in any video I'll be sure to uh, take a look at them and uh, see what the problem is so yeah I've already started real quick because you should know again this is gonna be an advance uh, all I did was I made a little platformer uh, type game here. So if I go and play it here, as you can see, it's just your player. And it's lagging a little bit because um, of the recording software. But uh, yeah, and yeah, as you can see, we have a basic template down here. Um, uh, real quick, what I'm going to do real quick is uh, facing, oh, I'm sorry, index equals zero and image index equals one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have done so in our sprites here I made a player that is looking right and to the left and that's what I just did with the image index one and uh, zero uh, I also went ahead and made blocks and this is our dirt and it's got two images it's got our normal dirt image and the grass image so this is like grass up top here uh, now obviously when uh, it is not when there is a uh, nothing you know on top of the grass block it's gonna display that grass um, so again I just made a simple platformer game here it's the simplest thing you could do and I went ahead and made a quick rendering system for uh, to lay out a basic foundation of all the blocks so if I play it real quick as you can see they're already all created for me within code and I can go ahead and show you that real quick uh, I made a controller and in the create event I said uh, I made a for loop xx equals zero uh, if xx is less than room width plus 32 xs xx xx plus equals 32 and then another for loop inside that with the y yy equals 352 which is the base at which I want it to start at um, so that's gonna be like the level the, the first you know starting point the grass that you see and then it's just gonna instance create xx and yy you sh that should make sense if not go and uh, leave a comment in the description or the uh, comment section I'll go and check that out uh, explain it a little bit further but yeah that's basically all I have and today we're gonna be doing more of the uh, generating terrain system here and I just like to let everybody know that I do my own ways of doing stuff you know so this method of creating terrain actually I don't think has been done uh, ever like I think I'm the only person that have thought of, that has thought of it and yes it may not be the most efficient way but it's what I thought of so that's what I'm gonna do uh, also what you should know is in the blocks I set move snap 32 by 32 and I always hated when people uh, started up tutorials and were already like halfway through but I just had to do this because it was very boring and uh, yeah again if you have any questions leave it down in the comments I have to you know, I can't stress that enough so um, yeah let's go ahead and continue so I'm actually gonna be doing the my own way of uh, rendering stuff or uh, creating the terrain so what I'm gonna do is my idea is I have uh, uh, we have the plane uh, you know that's generated just the flat terrain and on top of that one block up I'm gonna lay out a bunch of just one row of blocks and I'm gonna make that random so now if a block and another block are on top of each other one block is going to shift up kinda of making a little bit of terrain so that's my idea on that uh, so let's go ahead and get started again I may make some mistakes because I actually haven't done this uh, in a while so I may make some mistakes here and there it's, I'll get them fixed just yeah alright so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to set a variable in our uh, little in our um, uh, controller here so I'm gonna say spawn equals true right and in, in this for loop I'm gonna say if spawn equals equals true 
and I'm gonna put the brackets down and I'm also what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say instance create um, and then we can say I'm sorry let me just check here uh, sorry about this what's 352 okay so one block up from 352 as you can see on the bottom it says your Y if you go one up that's 320 so that's where we're gonna create our blocks our uh, row of blocks here so it's gonna be 320 I'm sorry no this is gonna be the X we're gonna say random room width and then it's gonna be 320 and obj block I'm sorry obj dirt there we go and we can create a bunch of these actually we can actually create a for loop for this actually so if you wanted to if you're not too advanced just create a bunch of them I'm just gonna create a for loop real quick so I equals 0 I is less than we'll say we'll create 20 I plus plus and then we go ahead and we put that down there and I'm getting an error for some reason okay sorry uh, I has to plus equal one uh, game maker does not support plus plus so I has to plus equal one so there we go now if we went ahead and we played it we might lag a little bit here but as you can see, it, it creates sort of this terrain. And it's actually not um, what we're going to have. Actually, it's not what's actually going to be like that. Uh, but, okay, what is happening here? Mm, let me see here real quick. Oh, my bad. Why did it let me go? Uh, image index should equal that and then in our views here I went ahead and set up a view beforehand I think that might have been getting an error and that's why it was a little off okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift the blocks up uh, one so we're gonna say in the step event if place meeting x comma y comma obj dirt y plus equals 32 or I'm sorry minus equals 32 because we want it to shift up so if we play that now okay I think we still need to add just a little bit more uh, blocks in the room here so if we go into our controller we can say 200 should give us a, some more terrain there we go um, let's actually kinda refresh that cuz kinda got stuck in there alright here let me bring the player up just a little bit more just so we don't get stuck in the terrain alright so as you can see now we actually have terrain and again I said this is my own way of doing stuff and you can't even get over that but <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be the tutorial for today. Go and leave a like, go and subscribe. Let me know if I'm going a little bit too fast. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.